What is going on everyone? Welcome to the channel. My name is Jacob Scott. So glad to have you here. Today we're going to be doing a quick little run through of the Snapseed photo editing app, the ever so popular editing app for Android and iOS. Now it's really popular for a couple of different reasons. One, it can edit raw photos, which with all these smartphones nowadays being able to edit raw, that's becoming more and more essential for these apps. And two, the library of tools it gives you to edit is just crazy. So let's not waste any more time and let's just jump right into the edit. All right, so we're in the app here. We're gonna start our edit. Now, this was a raw photo shot on my LG V20. So we don't have quite all the tools available to us yet because first we have to develop the raw image. So first, if you scroll up or down, you notice you have all these um, tools here to you and left to right, we'll just adjust each individual tool. So first I like to start on exposure, try and find something sort of well balanced, not too bright, not too dark. So I find right there is pretty nice. Highlights, this of course just brings your highlights up or down. I'm gonna bring them up. And of course, all this is based on preference. So for me, I'm just gonna grab the little bit of shadows there is in here, drop them some. Contrast, not really gonna adjust that. Actually, you know what? bring the contrast up a touch. Structure, this here kind of sharpens the image. Um, I would suggest do not overdo this. Um, but I am just going to put in just a little bit around five and then saturation Of course brings up your colors or decreases them. I prefer a more saturated look. So I'm going to bring this up to around 35 now this little thing up here in the right corner if you tap that you'll see the before and after of the edit you just did Now I'm going to hit that check mark now that check mark just developed the image So now we have all the tools available to us so after you do that, you'll notice all these sort of filters. I don't really prefer to use the filters. I like to make my own look. So I'm going to go down here to tools. Normally, I'm going to go back to tune image. This is going to have more of the brightness, contrast, saturation. From here, I'm really only going to pull up the ambience just a little bit. Hit the check mark. And then after that, I'm going to go into my curves. Now from here, I'm going to select all my channels. So this little button down here in the left, I can change from blue, green, red, uh, or all my channels. I'm going to select all of them. Just add a simple S curve. And farther to the right, that's going to increase or decrease my highlights. And farther to the left, that's going to increase and decrease my shadows. Now I'm going to put on that S curve and this one all the way over here to the left. I'm going to bring my shadows, my darkest of dark shadows up a little bit. That's just gonna give the image a little bit of a flat look. Now I'm gonna go back into here and normally from here I go into my red channel, decrease the reds and the shadows, pull them up a little bit in the highlights. Now of course this isn't gonna work exactly the same for every image, but that's the before and after on that. Really like what that did. And from here I'm pretty much almost done. The only thing I may change is I may go into here, add a vignette to it, maybe a little bit of one. Let's see the before and after on that. And then maybe add some grain. Now, first, when you go into the grain, it's going to put sort of a filter on it. All you have to do is slide down and turn the style completely off. And with the grain, um, use it sparingly. You don't want to use too much because definitely, if you are putting it on Instagram, you want to have that highest quality photo going on Instagram because of the compression Instagram is going to do. So I'm only going to use a little bit of grain in this, but I do like to use grain in images with a lot of bokeh. As you can see, it sort of gives it this nice look over here in the bokeh area, but that's pretty much it. And after that, you just hit check, hit export, and then just hit the export button there and it will save it to your phone. So that is it for this video. Really hope you enjoyed it. And you know, as you saw on this, Snapseed has some crazy awesome tools for photo editing. If you're not editing your photos, it's something you should really be doing because once you get it down and once you get a style of your own, it can really step up the quality of your photos. And you know, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit that like button, that subscribe button. But until next time, I'll see you later.